Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. Today we're going to take a look at using Spring MVC test in conjunction with Magneto to test a, a Spring list function. So what I have here is a controller that has been set up and it, it takes in my, a customer service object which goes back and, and gets a list of customers and displays it. So I'm looking at the list function which is mapped to slash customer slash list and what this controller action is going to do again is it's going to take in the model and add an attribute of customers from the customer service the list all function of the customer service and it's going to return back customer list and the customer list function corresponds to this time leaf view so this is a time leaf template and it's going to be expecting a list of customer objects bound to the property customers so to test this in Spring MVC test, a very common way to do that is to use Makito to mock out the customer service test. So here's my unit test for this. This is a true unit test. It doesn't bring up a Spring context. I'm going to scroll up so you can see there's no annotations on the class to bring in a Spring context. The only thing it's using is Makito annotations. So I have a property there for customer service. Then I have my customer controller uh, defined with the inject mocks annotation. And what this inject mocks annotation is going to enable Makito to configure our controller for us. So it'll create the controller object and inject the mock, mocked objects into the auto wired properties. So this happens in my setup method. It's annotated with the JUnit annotation of before. The first thing we do is with Makito annotations, we say init mocks and we pass in this class. It's going to configure this class. So it'll set up the controller with an injected mock of that. Next thing we want to do in the setup is set up our mock MVC controller. We are using mock MVC standalone setup, which means we're not using the Spring context. We're passing it in the con customer controller and then we're saying build it. Now our unit test for the list, I'm going to move it up to the top here. So the first thing we want to do in our unit test for the list action is to build a list of customers. So we just need objects in the list. It's a, a pretty simple build out here. Build an array list and then we add two new customer objects to it. And then on line 48, this is Makito that we're working with. So we're saying when the customer service list all mock is invoked, we want it to return a customer list that provides the functionality of the service in our controller for our unit test. Now in line 50 we get into Spring MVC test and we're saying perform a get action against the URL slash customer slash list. This will be the same thing that a web request is going to do. Now we're going to say we expect the status to come back OK. We expect the view to be routed to customer list and we're also expecting an attribute in the model uh, appended to customers and we expect it to be a list with the size of two. So now when I go to run this, I'm going to run it in IntelliJ so we can see the test actually run. IntelliJ is making, making our project right now. And we can see that all the, the assertions passed. We can see how fast that, that test ran. It's a very light way to test a Spring controller. I'm going to encourage you when you're developing Spring MVC controllers to explore the Spring MVC test package. And Makito is a very common way to stub out the services that you inject to, into your controller. So you can fully cover, get full unit test coverage on your controllers using Spring MVC test and in conjunction with a, a mocking framework such as Makito.